Hey there, Dr. Chris Cooper here with Cascade Chiropractic Wellness. I have Alicia here. Alicia's come to me uh, with some specific problems. She has this spot in her neck on the left side that goes funky and it starts to trickle down her spine. So she starts to feel it in the upper neck, the middle back, the hip, and the actual hip socket. And she's been to lots of different chiropractors, but traditional adjusting doesn't quite fix the problem spots. And the, the thing that works the best for her, for her is decompression. And so she sought us out for the Y strap, and so that's what we're gonna do today. We still are gonna adjust those spots um, and work some muscles and adjust her hip, and we'll finish up with the Y strap. And so on Alicia today, there's a lot of tension through here. Is that kind of normal for you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the life tension. Mm -hmm. So we'll work that out and then we'll dive into the uh, adjusting part. Let's get some things adjusted. So let's start in the mid back, get those ribs. Yeah, right there. Let's take a big breath in, and a big breath out. Good. And then up in here, this is more for tension. Big breath in, big breath out. Good. Nice. Very crunchy. Okay, so low back. Let's have you lie on your side for me, please. Let's side up in the air. Give you a little headrest here. We'll bend your leg up. Scoot your leg here. It's right there, right at that SI. So a little pull, fold your arms up. I'm just going to rock you forward a little bit. Let it relax. There you go. Good. You hear that big giant pop? <laughs> Let's roll face out. I just wanted to make sure the other side's doing just as well. So I'll kind of pull you like here, fold you like here, scoot you like here. Yeah, this side moves so easy. We'll just do a little stretch. Just kind of let it relax. There you go. Good. Okay, lean your back for me, please. Let's check the hip out and then we'll dive into the next stuff. So this left hip is where I was feeling the most pinchy, like that thing right there. So let's start with gentle stuff. So let's let this relax. Let's kind of wiggle and a big pull. Very nice. Let's see if that was it. Pretty good. I still feel a little something. Do you feel that still? Okay. So put your hands on tummy so I don't pinch your fingers. This thing's gonna come up and down we're gonna do a little push. Better, I'm gonna add a little twist into that. Nice. Is there, is that still something? Mm-hmm. Is it? When I go with this, mm -hmm. it's just like way up in that spot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to take this to an extreme here. Just kind of let it go floppy. There we go. Any pinch? Mm -mm. Right on. Okay, so what you had going on in the hip was called a posterior capsule adhesion. It's just... Uh, a capsule that surrounds your hip socket just got tight on the back side. Should I bend my knees? Uh, whatever's comfortable. So we're going to fix the lateral flexion part of that C2, C3 first, and then we'll do the Y strap at the end, okay? Let's come way over here. Let's let that head relax. 
take our C2, C3 contact, just kind of rock you through a little pull. Very good. Very good. Okay, I'm going to get the C3 on this right side. Right there. Just same idea. Very good. Okay. Ready for a Y strap? Yep. <laughs> Decompress. Mm -hmm. All right. So slide down the table here and hang your knees off the edge of the table and lay your head back. Do you have any jaw issues at all? No. Okay. So lift your head up here and just lay, oh, sorry, lay your head back down. Very good. So kind of land that here. We put a chin strap on, just like that. Good, let's do a little test pull. Make sure nothing's pinching the ears or the head or the chin. Doing okay? Yep. Okay, so we'll do our 30 second hold. We'll let you relax. We'll do another 30 second hold and then we'll do our tug, okay? Yep. Here we go, first hold. Ooh, whole bunch of big crunches already. Mm -hmm. Did you feel that right at the top? Mm -hmm. You're relaxing into it good. Just like yoga, right? It is a lot. The breathing, the mind. Mm -hmm. It's hard to sometimes take control of the supercomputer we have in our brain. Mm -hmm. But you can. Okay, one more 30 second pull. Good. Excellent. And a big tug. Very good. We got even some more pops. All right. Lift your head up just a tiny bit. There you go. And just relax back down. Okay, let me help you up here. How you feeling? Neck feels really good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Did it seem to open up the spot you were feeling on that left? Good. Yeah. Good. Take a, take a few steps around. I want to make sure that hip feels just as good as the neck. So, the hip still feels really catchy. Okay. What, which direction do you feel? Is it kind of the, move, move the knees a little bit, kind of do some high knees for me. Is that, is that catching at all? No. Is it kind of like the... I would say it's when, like when I lean to the side, it catches all on this side. Feeling it right there. Mm -hmm. So lay on your side again, face this way. I've noticed whenever I'm stretching at home, like I always feel like it needs to adjust really low, like down in this area. Got it. So interesting thing, you have your SI joint, which stands for your sacroiliac joint, mm -hmm. has an upper joint and a lower joint. Mm -hmm. And what I adjusted was your upper joint. Mm -hmm. So we'll check your lower, lower one too. So this is the upper one. It's kind of that motion, that's feeling normal. The lower one, it's kind of this deep sort of, ah. All right, we're gonna do one more adjustment on you, okay? So for this one, I'm gonna tuck your hip quite a bit, okay? Mm -hmm. So just let that hip kind of relax, there you go. It's already moving. A little push, a little bit deeper. There you go. All right, let's try that. better good yeah so you got one of those complicated SI joints 
it's fun to it's fun to work it out though good so keeping that posterior core strong is going to be super beneficial to make sure that SI doesn't slip and stuff mm -hmm. um, and for the neck what I want you to do I call it princess exercises mm -hmm. I don't I don't have a better name for it mm -hmm. think think Disney robot princess tall long you got your book on your head let's do it <laughs> tall long you got your book on your head and you practice turning what this does is it rebuilds the I failed. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> well it's you practice you practice so what you're doing is you're you're rebuilding how your brain is talking to these muscles sometimes we kind of move haphazardly and it just makes things really weird mm -hmm. standing tall moving moving with intention and stability will help your neck a lot. This might just kind of stretch out how long mm -hmm. you need me in between, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So give it a try. Okay. You don't need a book to do it. it, <laughs> it it's, but you think tall, you think you're Disney, you're Disney princess, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for letting us film. I'll see you guys next time.